a quick but enjoyable session at Dovercourt Beach in Harwich. As you can see, I'm hoping to catch rays by fishing fish baits. I've got squid with me, but bluey is my bait of choice. I use a squid in combination with fish baits, particularly if I have problems with crabs. I've already cut off chunks of the bluey, and I've also got some herring on standby. I'm baiting up a 2-0 bronze viking hook, which is at the business end of an up and over rig. There are baiting tools you can use for this job, but I find it quicker not to bother with these. The tools would help to make a neater job of this, but I don't think the fish mind. Here I'm adding squid to the side of a bait where the hook penetrates. So in this instance I'm not completely wrapping it in squid. Bait elastic is essential. It's important to keep the point of a hook proud from the bait. Not the neatest of jobs, but it'll do, and I'll trim off the ends. Hello? Yes, right. you are. Me and my husband watch you on YouTube. All right. Okay. Nice one. A friendly chat for passerby delays proceedings a bit, but it's always useful to get some local information. A quick pan round the area and a look at my setup. I've positioned myself close to the causeway which leads to the outer lighthouse. I'm near to one of the access points which leads down onto the beach. The road behind is Lower Marine Parade and there's free parking. It's close to high tide and I've set up right at the water's edge. The up and over rig is baited up and ready to go and so is my free hook clip down rig which has got ragworm on it. Having cast out the rig with worm baits, I run through the locational details. The port of Harwich is in Tendring, Essex, but not part of the main peninsula. It's directly opposite the container port of Felixstowe, which is in Suffolk. Some well-known marks at Felixstowe tend to get a lot more attention than those at Harwich. Homing in on Harwich, I'll identify some of its better-known marks. Close to the mouth of the Orwell and Stour Estuary, you've got Halfpenny Pier, Harbour Crescent and the Stone Pier. The other end of Harwich, you've got Dovercourt Prom, with its point, which the locals refer to as Crab Island. Dovercourt Beach is between the Prom and Stone Pier. The two lighthouses are the most notable features along this stretch, with the causeway between them being exposed at low tide. I've identified the precise spot I fished for this video. Quite a lot of dogs being walked on the beach, so I'm trying to keep my bait in my cool bag. Well, that didn't take long. A fish on a free hook rig straight away. There's a bit of resistance, so this looks quite promising.
It's not very big, but it's a perfect start. Array my first cast on the ragworm. The boat was just a gentle pull down, hardly noticeable, but the fish had swallowed the bait, so forceps are needed to remove the hook. Not the biggest, but I'll settle for this form back. I've now cast a rig with worm to my right and I'm waiting my second bite. A little knock suggests more interest in the ragworm. Dragging the bait to see if I can get a better take. Eventually I get a slightly better knock which is worth hitting. I can feel the fish on but I know it's not a ray. A little Scotty Bess comes in but I'm pretty happy with that. No sign anything on a fish bait yet. However, I'll reel in to see if I need to change the bait. The bait's been partly chewed by crabs, so I'll just whip on another chunk of bluey.
Out of the corner of my eye, I notice another slow pull down on my other rod. I can't believe my luck. It feels like I've got another ray on. In theory, they should be taking the bluey and not the ragworm. This one feels slightly better, but it's coming in a bit easier. Not massive, but again, I'll settle for this over a dogfish. This one's got different markings. Unfortunately, the hook's in the corner of its mouth. Now, this is a rig I should be catching them on. I quite like the trident components for making up and over rigs. The hangover clip rests on top of an SRT spring. This allows you to put some tension in the snood for casting. The tide's ebbing now and it's been pretty slow really, with only the three bites so far. If I would have preferred it to be overcast, the conditions are pretty perfect for rays. There's only a very gentle breeze and the water's pretty coloured. Just after dragging the rig with worm baits, I'll get a little knot on that rod. It's enough round fish, but it's a whiting this time. Time to move down the beach.
As is often the case, the crabs become a bit more active as the water becomes shallower. I'm now having to rebait a bit more frequently. Fish are tied down for three hours, but didn't get any bites on the up and over rig with fish baits. Then, just after packing away that rod, I get my last bite of the day. It's on the ragworm, but the fish feels a bit different this time. Needless to say, I'm really pleased with this capture. A sole on my last cast is always the best way to finish a day. <laughs>